let us see how to make a alu in vivado using vhdl so first of all we know a alu is a, a chip that can do mathematical and logic operations so as we can see over here it has two inputs and a single output and what happens to the inputs depends on the select line over here so let us say for example our a is one zero 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 and our b is zero 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 one and so we can have many different operations be performed on this a and b depending on the value of the select line so let us say if our the value of our select line is one then we want to add these two numbers so if it is one then the y would equal one zero zero one let us say if the value of select line is two so this is two in binary so y would equal uh, let us say zero one 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 so uh, operation of a alu is very simple performing different different tasks depending on the value of the select line so let us see how can we make this in the vivado so first let us create a file add design sources create file alu vhdl okay finish So let us have a A, a B, a select line and Y for the output. So Y would be out and all this would be buses of multiple bits. So let's have four bit inputs and a three bit select line. So for a three bit select line, we can go from zero, zero, zero to 111 so that means we will have eight total possible values so we can perform eight different operations with this so so our design file is created we can use a simple switch case statement in this to give different output on y depending on the value of s but first of all every time we make a new project this library is already included so this has all the code for signals and other different data byte data types but we'll also have to in include this library to be able to perform logical and mathematical operations with the numbers so now we are ready so the way you write switch statements in vhdl is we can write case s is then when we can give this a value let us say zero 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 then over you can here you can write y would be let us say a plus b let's write a few more cases So you can just copy this and then change the values. Okay, so we have eight cases. And let us do different operations based on those. okay so as we can see it gives us an error because we also have to give a case 
for others so others is like a wild card it will match any other case which is not specified over here specifically so let's just make y zero when it has any other value you also have to end the case and the case statement always has to be inside a process statement because these are procedural statements and they have to be inside process so our process will be sensitive to the select line the a and b begin and here we'll just end the process let's just save again and as we can see our code for the alu is ready so now let's just test it so let's just make a test bench for this let's call it alu db In a test bench, we have to declare our entity as a component. Declare all the signals so A, B, and Y are standard logic vectors of four bit and signal s our select line is also a standard logic vector but of 3 bit we'll just map this to the port alu Let's just give a constant values to A and B. So let's just give A the value of, uh, let's say, 0, 1, 0, 1. Let's give B the value of 1. So it will be easier for us to check the output. And let's give different values to the select line. So what we can do is, process begin let's just give the value of zero to the s over here and then in the process what we can do is we can just increment the value of s so s is s plus one And since we are incrementing the value of s over here, we will need the we will need this unsigned library in that code as well. So let's just paste it here. And yes, we also have to give a wait statement over here. Wait for hundred nanoseconds. let's give this a default value of zero over here itself Okay, so now let's run the simulation. Let's close this, let's make it a little bigger. And let's also 
make all this binary it's easier to see what's happening okay so over here as we can see when let's keep the select line above the output so when the select line is 1 what we have given over here is the value should be subtracted so when the select line is 1 we are getting the output of 0101 minus 0001 which is 0100 then when the select line is 3 we should get a plus 1 so a is this so 0101 plus 1 is 0110 so over here you can verify that our ALU is also working properly